Welcome back everyone. This is a bit of a unique episode in that a lot of you, my subscribers, have been asking me what books do I read, what do I recommend, and in this episode I wanted to break down what I think every single one of you should be reading in terms of my top five books, and I'm going to recommend three fellow YouTubers that I strongly recommend you go and follow their channel and subscribe and immerse yourself in their content. So the reason I wanted to put this together is ultimately this channel is about you, okay? And this is specifically if you are subscribing, if you're watching and you're not a subscriber, either subscribe or jog on. Off you go. Now, okay, so the reason I like doing this is as my channel grows, which I obviously want to do, the way that I do that is by adding more value to you. And so I want to engage and create content that is relevant. So if a lot of people ask me about books, investment books, property books, and things like that, and honestly, when people ask me, I'm like, well, most of them are actually pretty crap. And they recommend, they talk about these ones where they were good 10 years ago, or I read them and it's the new guru in town or something like that. Don't get me wrong, I do paid for education as well, so I'm not knocking people to do that. But, and I read the book and I'm just like, this is just a pure lead magnet with no value, and it's talking about all of the best bits in property. So, here's five recommendations that I really do think that will get you along your track. So the two first books are by the same author, and they're really powerful books. So the first one is The Complete Guide to Property Investing, and the second book is How to Become a Landlord. And these are both by the same author, a UK lad called Rob Dix. Check him out. Um, and it's a really good, all-inclusive book, the first one obviously calling it the complete guide but it goes around financing it goes around the uh, full economic property cycle how you can plan your portfolio how to assess the areas and you know considering it's a book i think it's really evergreen content and some of the principles in there are really powerful so if you're in your first either you've got no um no properties whatsoever in your even your first five i strongly recommend reading that what i really like about rob's approach is no bullshit it's pretty straight line and it's not the airy fairy side of things that you often see from educators out there. The second one, How to Be a Landlord, is specifically aimed at people looking at the lettings and management side. And I think it's a really good book. And it's one of those what you need to know rather than what you want to know. And it's not to say it's dry and boring, but it's very informative. And it's the stuff that actually is going to allow you to go out there, add a load of value to your tenants whilst monetizing in the most effective way possible. And by the way, for all of these book recommendations, I'm putting a link below that you can go on and buy it up front it is an affiliate link so i'll earn about three pence per one of you that goes there first time i've ever done it but i think it'll be a good test so go down click the link and make sure you're getting these books i'm recommending so the next book is a fairly unique one the third recommendation and this is Extraordinary Profits from Ordinary Properties. So this is a book by a friend of mine, actually, Wendy Whitaker-Large. Um, she does training out there as well, specializing in HMO properties, House of Multiple Occupancy. But she's not the typical person that you see out there regularly, all over social media. She's one of these people, she's just grows through her reputation and for very good reason. So this book is a really good one with understanding how you can look at a property and make the best out of the deal. And it has a pure focus on the value add um, element of property and how you can sweat the equity and sweat the asset as much as possible. So that's extraordinary profits from ordinary property from Wendy Whitaker Lodge. The fourth one, and I was really torn up about this. This isn't specific to property, but I was thinking, oh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, or everyone puts Rich Dad, Poor Dad, obviously go and read that, like every man is dog should, right? But a lesser known one is The Richest Man in Babylon. Now, some of the most powerful books out there, similar to Rich Dad, Poor Dad, is they're, ba poor dad? Poor dad, is they're based upon a story. Okay, and so it's very easy to digest the information and understand it and compute it because it's through story mode, right? And the richest man in Babylon, one of the well, well, the wealthiest area in the world at one point, and it's obviously one of the um, seven wonders of the world now, the gardens and things like that. But it was teaching about the wealth of how you go from absolutely broke 
and no matter what financial situation you're in, to building a massive asset base and financial freedom. And the general concept that I took away from it is the gold that you earn actively should be reinvested to create your silver and your silver should be reinvested and then you get your bronze from that and it's having your money making babies and you only really ever spend the bronze. So bearing in mind this was written in 1926 is absolutely applicable today. It's evergreen. It's absolutely amazing. And if you've ever heard that the biggest secrets are often hidden in the simplest words, this is the book to represent that. It's such a simple, easy to read book that I just read literally honestly a couple of times every year for years now and every single time I seem to pick up another nugget. The final book recommendation, I want it to be quite a special one that's had a, a real impact on my growth and that is Tony Robbins. Okay so I mean he, he's just like the head guru isn't he? Like he's an incredible individual and specifically his book Money Master the Game um, was really revolutionary for me and I'll, I'll be honest this was one of those books that I read too soon so it's probably not one where if you're young, well, I was immature when I was a teenager. I couldn't really comprehend the full impact. But as I sort of reread it as I was growing as an individual, it really started to sink into me the power of compounding, the, what to look out for, what not to look out for. And actually, you're not just looking at the return on your investment, it's return of the investment and return on your time. And so it's looking at all of these different angles. Uh, and that was the first book for me that really just exploded my mind and it's definitely a, it's, it's, it's not a small book it's a thick book but definitely worth the investment and every single one of these that I've recommended again you can go to the link below and there should be some sort of affiliate link on there where you can go on there buy the books on Amazon and I guarantee reading every single one of these will add at least one golden nugget to you that could potentially change your life forever. So guys, those books that I've just mentioned to you honestly will change your life and I'm a massive bookworm. So when I was at my last mastermind, for example, there was a mentee that recommended a book that I've never heard of and my face just lights up because I'm pretty obsessed with learning and the transfer of knowledge and it really helps me grow. So what would really help me is, number one, let me know if you've actually read those books. Number two, if there's a book that has completely changed your life, whether it's property, financial freedom, mindset, growth, business, wealth, whatever whatever it is, let me know in the comments. I'll let you know whether I've read it or not. And every single one you recommend, I will do a quick look up. If I think I'm interested, I'll order it, I'll read it, and I'll let you know what I think. The next part of this is I want to just give a bit of love back to some other YouTube creators that I think you guys would really benefit from the from different angles if you're following my channel, okay? So the first one is Justin Wilkins. So we'll put a link around here, put a picture of his ugly mug here. So Justin, he's a young lad as well, he's 29 and uh, he's in he's been in property for a few years now but he's very much at the beginner level okay and I'm, I'm not saying that as a negative what I really love about his channel is it's more an immersive experience so what he's doing is just kind of vlogging as he's going along so he's still working I believe then doing property on the side and doing some really cool projects and what I've seen from what he's doing is going out there learning lessons and just filming it all editing it and then putting it up for you guys and personally if I I were new in property I'd be on this channel watching as many videos as possible so make sure to check him out I'll put a link below and subscribe to his channel show him some love and some poor and I really do think he'll bring some value into your lives so the next YouTube channel that I want to recommend is your first four houses by a guy called Tony I believe he's down in pool um, as his investment area and what I really love about your first four houses is one, the consistency of the value. And he's been going for years now, started way before I did. Um, and he's just got an incredible subscriber base. He's got a great community there. And especially if you're towards the sort of mid-level of your or beginning of your property investment business, I think he really simplifies the whole process. Again, I don't think he's a bullshit. There's a lot of YouTubers I listen to and I'm like, I'm not quite sure that's the way it is, um, but I really like his straight talking and he s keeps things really, really simple so everyone can understand it. Again, massive value that he puts out there on a consistent basis. He also does news updates as well, which I really get value from because he has got a long-term insight into the property market um, and definitely adds a lot of value to me and I know he will to you too. So jump over, have a check out some of his videos. If you like it as much as I do, make sure to share some support and subscribe to his channel also.
So the next YouTuber is a bit of a random one and the reason I'm giggling is Alex, my videographer, always giggles at me when I mention his name because I am a massive fan and for different reasons. So it's a guy called Graham Stephan. He's over in America and he does quite a lot of stuff around property or real estate over there. He's part of the Oppenheim group, which if you've been on Netflix and seen Selling Sunset, he's part of that group. Uh, he's not one of the beautiful girls on there, so you probably won't see him very often. Um, but... What I love about his channel is just how intelligent he is from a business angle. So yes, I love his videos. Yes, I think they're really high value. But often when you watch people at a certain level, it's not even just watching them for what they're saying. It's watching them from what they do. So I get a lot of inspiration from him for the YouTube channel. I watch what he does. I paid for his YouTube course, which I think is fantastic. So if you're interested in starting that, I definitely recommend giving that a go. But more watching him from a business point of view, understanding how he, he trend hacks when things are going on, how quickly he jumps on it, how diverse uh, and yet simple his videos are. And at every single stage, I think he's such a fluid speaker in the way that he engages with his audience. And considering he would say he's quite an introvert and not really comfortable, those sort of things, I think he's done exceptionally well. And he's got something like 3.3 million subscribers. So in order to build that much, you need to be adding consistent value. So if you want to go and follow him, probably not for the actual um, property advice because it might not relate to over here in the UK but certainly for investment guidance um, and content around that and also just to look at a business model I think he's a great person to follow and show your support to as well so that's it guys this wasn't one of those educational videos as such really I just wanted to give you some insight because a lot of people go well Jamie where did you get your knowledge from because it has to come from somewhere and I'm definitely a massive bookworm I read a lot I listen to people a lot and I try to to take in as much as possible and what I've shared with you is what I think will be the most powerful five books for you and the three best youtubers for different reasons that's going to help you develop and accelerate on your journey so if you want to get engaged with that the links to the books are below and of course the links to the other youtube channels check them out you don't have to subscribe but if you go on there you resonate with them they add value to you hit the subscribe and show your support and hey whilst you're at it if you're not a subscriber to this channel and you want to see more about property investment growth scaling in general you make sure to smash the like button hit the subscribe and notification bell and of course i will see you in the next video